it's me, Ex-Canada Dentist, and today we're doing a toy hunt. I did not film an intro outside of the store. So I'm at a store that is basically just like a flea market. It has booths. It was called Yard Sale, and it was near a fabric store I wanted to go to, so I stopped by, and there were a surprising amount of dolls considering the size of the place. Like, a lot of booths had dolls, so I was very impressed. Those Barbies are really cute, and the one that I would have bought is one that I actually got at the thrift store recently like um probably like four trips ago so i thought that was kind of funny and then over here that spongebob which i actually have two of from when i was a kid we have a spirit riding free doll i would buy those if i found like multiple at once or something because I, I do like them um but i'm not like super into them or anything then more things and then over here we've got the big big barbies and an elsa very cute just so many toys, I was so surprised. Oh, I picked up that um, <laughs> that I Spy Pokemon book. It was like a reprint, but it was really cute. And then this booth was probably the most exciting for me. I was trying to save some money, so I didn't pick up as much stuff. But I kind of want to go back for the Gumball Machine playset because I don't have that one. And I love G3.5. Well, hold on. <laughs> Not G3.5, like newborn cuties or like... I'm, a, I'm indifferent to those and the other ones, but G3.5 Ponyville specifically, I love. And then look, the strawberry shortcake stuff too. Again, might go back for that stuff. We'll see. We'll see. I really, really love when antique malls have booths like this. When my dad used to, when my dad first started his toy store, which he no longer has, it belongs to somebody else. But if you live in Houston, Super Happy Incredible Toys was started by my dad. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, he used, he started an antique mall and there was a booth like this at that antique mall and I loved it. So I'm really excited about this booth. I know flea market booths, that doll was really interesting. Let me know if you recognize her. Um, anyway, hopefully this booth adds stuff pretty often. Oh, I didn't even notice that was a boxy girl. Oh, I got so excited about the horse land doll. <laughs> her figure, she has hair. So doll, I don't even know. <laughs> There's like a specific type, type of joint that I attribute to figures specifically um live dolls i have a lot of extra live dolls right now so i left those and then this booth had a ton of interesting dvds they were hard to get out but i had to grab the brats and the monster high ones because i like brats and monster high and i'd never seen either of these at a thrift store that i can remember anyway um look at the different outfits they gave them so funny I always wondered, like, how the animation team picked the outfits for the Bratz for the DVDs and stuff. And then, look, they had, like, a bunch of G4 My Little Pony stuff. Like, they had a lot of interesting DVDs, actually. And they had some Barbie ones, but I don't know if I got them on camera. Oh, it was $2. I like the one that's just Fluttershy. I assume it's just episodes featuring Fluttershy, but I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> um, and then they had some dolls, but they were, like, gross. Like, oh, my God, what happened to you? I'm so sorry, honey. And... Ooh, yeah unpleasant <laughs> uh I have a very high tolerance for like gross things but mm, not that <laughs> anyway yeah that booth didn't have a whole lot for me but the dvds were very cool and then those mermaid porcelain dolls or whatever those were were actually super cute and then y'all appreciate cabbage patch kids so I try to show them when I see them not all of y'all but some of y'all have commented about them before and then over here we had a bunch of boxed holiday barbies i don't really go out of my way to get holiday barbies i thought it was funny that they had millennium princess who i just got um i was actually very tempted by the one in red i might zoom in on her yeah might go back for her she was super cute and then america's thrift store you know i love this one um one of my favorite thrift stores it's awesome although i do really really miss savers we had this which had an lol sticker on it but i don't really know what it goes to probably just a random dollhouse i was tempted by this but i don't need it <laughs> but it was very cute that was the boss from series three of lol omg and then ooh, her um her like diary thing it was a playset. i don't know i grabbed that by the way i just left it there for a second because i wanted to go to the doll section so here we are in the doll section I really like this thrift store because I feel like most of the time it's not just nude blonde Barbies and that just depends on the area you live in. This Disney Infinity bag was actually kind of tempting because there's a few Disney Infinity dolls that I want. Figures. I don't know why I said dolls. Kim Possible. I would get that one if it wasn't like a plush thing. I like dolls. I want to collect dolls and her character design is very pretty. Um, but like you see what I mean? Like it's never just a bunch of random Barbies and Hasbro princesses. Although that still generally is the majority of things, but I don't know. There's always a good variety, and that makes me happy because that's that's the reason I like thrifting so much is because there's lots of variety. Like, if I was just shopping for a specific doll, I would just go on eBay. Um, but I like to just see what 
See what enters my life. That doll has been here for a while in Gloom Beach Frankie's swimsuit. She has been there for weeks. If you've been, if I, well, I should say if I've been uploading these, that doll was really pretty and tempting. Very tempting. <laughs> she was really cute. I liked her tail a lot. Probably should have got her precious moments. And then, so this story is one that I don't really get to go too too often because it's super out of the way. But now I actually have dance practices near it. So <laughs> weekly <laughs> trips to this thrift store. The... Okay, so I would possibly grab a Poopsie Unicorn. Like, I don't particularly want them. There's specific ones, though. Those small sitting ones that came out towards the end were so cute. This one is really cool. So these America's Thrift Stores must have completely different management or something. Is that like a Holly Hobby doll? I don't know. Um, they must have completely different, like, management styles or something. Because they all are in a relatively similar geographic area. But they all have very different stuff. Also, yes, I know some of those were AG's shoes. I know. I don't need them. If, if any of them spoke to me, I would have grabbed them. Um, anyway, um, like this one, for example, will put doll dresses and clothes and stuff in like separate bags and sell them individually, which I never see. You either see them all in one bag or they just wait and put them on random dolls as they come in. It was very interesting. So I actually really like checking this one. Like I got um, Erica's dress from Princess and the Popper here for like $2. It was awesome. Um, I also got some Brad shoes on this specific trip. I don't know if I showed them. I was very tempted by the Snap Stars dolls. I probably should have grabbed them. I don't know. I don't foresee them being too, too difficult to find. And I really like their clothes, actually. The strongest part of the Snap Stars dolls, in my opinion, were the clothes and the, and the um, articulation. So um, I decided to leave them. This was kind of, I just had to grab her because she's a Star Darlings doll and I love Star Darlings dolls. Um, they're some of my personal favorite dolls of all time. I just wish they had had more time because <laughs> they only had like maybe a year. But like this store has so much to look through and stuff balls. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today's video is going to be a thrift store doll hunt slash haul. So this was the hunt. And now it's time to look at the little haul. So these happened over several days, like just different times I happened to be near these thrift stores. I decided to check them out. So I have three different shopping trips to share with you. This will be the first one. So this haul, let me see. I gotta, ah, so I got this stuff at just nearby. We happened to be stopping at a store near the thrift store. So we were like, why not? So these were from America's Thrift, and I'm not 100% sure if I actually have the footage for this one. I mean, you'll know if you saw it. Um, so first I picked up this Barbie, just because she is so <laughs> beautiful. I just, her face was like very distinct, even for this era of Barbies, especially like whenever you see the blonde, blue-eyed Barbies, generally they're overall fairly similar. Sometimes they'll have interesting makeup, but this one just looks wildly different. Also, she's just in really nice shape. If I had to guess from the shirt, she's probably the one that came with the dog that poops, but I really have no idea. She does have articulation also, which was pretty neat, and I just felt like I should pick her up because I thought she was really beautiful, and if I hadn't picked her up, I would have kept thinking about it, and I really like her. Does she have elastic? Oh, she has hip elastic. That is weird. <laughs> huh. I've never paid attention to um, if Barbies have that or not. Um, and then that same day, this was the only other bag that I got, so... This is what we can see. There's four dolls in here and this was $6. The reason that I bought it was this. So I believe this is Draculaur's little sister, Fangelica, Fangelica. Um, I mean, I know it's Draculaur's little sister from the reboot, but I don't actually know her name. I'm pretty sure it's Fangelica. Um, yeah, I don't have her. And as much as the family packs I wasn't super on board with, I actually really like the Monster High reboot, the original reboot. I don't really mind it that much, but these I wasn't super on board with, but they are cute. Um, and I never had picked them up back when they were in stores, so I've been hoping to find them at a thrift store, and I did. Um, and then this is a really, really mangy Fluttershy. She's gonna go right in the, like, the quarantine for dolls, because she's got, like, nail polish all over her, poor thing. Um, but that's like an Equestria Girls, like, basic doll from a bit later down the line when they started doing them, like, fully molded hair. Um, but she does have the... Yeah, she she needs work. <laughs> she needs help. And then we got, is this Donatessa or something from Shoppies? She's missing a lot of stuff, but she just happened to be in here. I like Shoppies. I think they're really cute. And then we got this Draculaura. So I picked her up. Because I just thought she was really cute. So she's wearing... See, the shoes were what got me. I was like, I don't recognize these shoes. And I 
I, I'm not perfect with Monster High, like I don't know every single line, but I'm pretty close to it. So when I see a pair of shoes, especially that I don't recognize, I gotta pick them up. This is some kind of, when the reboot first started, kind of like when we were easing into the reboot, we were getting original face dolls, but with budget articulation. And I might honestly have this one. I do have the like budget slumber party one, which I actually really like. Is it called Creepover, that line? Um, and yeah, I just thought her face was really beautiful. I wouldn't have picked her up just for Wave 1 Cleo's outfit, although it is cool because I don't have the original Wave 1 Cleo. I only have the original Ghouls one from 2015, which not really the most suitable replacement, but Monster High Dolls, as much as people want to act like they're super like expensive and rare and luxury, they're, they're not. Like, I will find a, an original Wave 1 Cleo. Like, it'll happen. Like, I'm not I'm not actually worried about it. Um, the outfit's really cute, though. I really like how it looks on this Dracula, actually. Oh, I didn't know they can't... They can't tilt their heads, these ones. Only turning. Interesting. It's very interesting to me that she still has the leg movement. I would think that that would be the first to go. Uh, but instead, they opted for the arm movement to go first. She's really cute, is my point. So... That was kind of, you know, a lighter thrift day. Although finding anything in a thrift store that you actually want is something. Um, then I was going to the fabric store for a project that I don't know if I'm posting that video before or after, but you'll know if you'll know if that's the video. Um, and we found this store called Yard Sale. Um, it was really cool. It was basically just a flea market type store. So just booths, kind of like an antique mall. Um, but I found a bunch of cool stuff there, so I'm pretty excited. I mean, I didn't find, like, a ton of stuff, but there were lots of boots with dolls. So, firstly, I got <laughs> this interactive DVD, Living It Up With The Brats. I... <laughs> I just thought this was really interesting, and I'd never seen it before, and I thought it would be fun to play. And we've got, like, the outfits they picked are very interesting, actually. Like, yeah. Definitely need to play this. I do not have a DVD player, though I believe I can use a PlayStation 2 or 3 for DVDs. I don't know. We'll see. I, I bought another DVD game. I keep doing it. They're fun. Um, and we managed to play it, I'm pretty sure, on a PlayStation of some sort. So um, anyway, this is... I didn't know there was a like a home media release of this. It's New Ghoul at School. So this, I believe, did air on TV, but it was mainly like... Or no, was it on? I think it just played on Nick or something. I don't even know. Um, but it's quite short to put on, like, home media as its own thing. I know that they've done, like, compilations that would have it, but I, I don't know. I just thought this was cool, so I grabbed it, and it was, like, 50 cents. Both of the DVDs were. Um, yeah. Snoogle, it's cool. I love this special. It started it all. And I actually forced Brett to watch it recently. So... <laughs> Uh, not from this. We watched it on YouTube, but anyway, love it. Love it. Essential viewing. Anyway, all right, now for the dolls. So this doll, I don't remember her name, but I've been looking for Horseland stuff for years. So this is such a weird thing. So I used to have to spend like the, well, I didn't like have to, but you know, my dad had custody over the summer. So I would spend the summer there. And generally me and my brother were just alone all day, every day um, for entire summers. So um, at some point I got like a Roku, which you could use to watch Netflix. And I just watched the entirety of Horseland um, for some reason, even though it seems like something I would hate, and I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. And one of my favorite episodes of any cartoon ever came from Horseland. It's actually a really good show. Like, I implore you to watch it. Um, but this is one of the characters. I don't remember her name. It's been a long time. But um, these just, it's such an obscure show that they have such a limited release that I've never seen anything Horseland related in person before. So it's kind of, it's quite exciting. Quite exciting. And the episode I'm referring to is the one with the, the cat. Was his name like, why can't I remember right now? It's like Mosby or something, right? The, anyway, the, the cat episode. I'm just going to leave it at that. God. <laughs> It like broke me as a person. All right, and then there were a few Liv dolls and I specifically bought this one. So this is a Hayden doll. And I bought this one, not because of the doll. Her clothes are actually kind of like, th this outfit is cute. I don't know what it is, but it's really, really cute. Um, I don't think it's Liv, but I suppose it could be. But Liv didn't really do a lot of like crop tops and mini skirts. But the whole reason that I bought her, she was I think 2 dollars was this wig. This specific Liv wig. 
I have wanted for years and now I have it. It's this red one with, it came in like a, I think a two pack with wigs and I have most of them, but I didn't have this one um, from the like wig packs and they would come with like a wig stand. They were really cute. So I got, I got most of them while they were in stores, but a lot of them I destroyed cause I used to, I just used to like customize, customize, customize and I did not know what I was doing and I cut a lot of those wigs unfortunately. So um, hopefully I can replace them someday. Like the, the purple curly one. It didn't look good on any lip doll. Like, I cannot think of a lip doll that that looked good on, but wish I didn't ruin it. But I was using them on my Create a Monster Monster High dolls. It, live wigs have this peg, but if you, you know, cut this off, you can still use it on your lip dolls, but you can use it on the Create a Monster dolls too. Um, and I really wanted this one, but it never really turned up in stores. I remember people would use it on the Create a Monster Sea Monster, and I thought it was so cute. Anyway, so that was unexpected win from the antique store or whatever you would call it. Let's go to horse land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, um, lastly, I was in town. I had to, well, I had dance practice and I was driving friends to dance practice and they live, cause why not carpool at that point? Cause I have to drive through where they live anyway. Um, and they lived like right where this thrift store was. So I was like, I get to go. And I found quite a few things. Uh, so we're still on the live train here. I found a bunch of live dolls. I think they're, yeah, this is all of them. Found a lot of stuff from the like early 2010s era, mid early to mid 2010s era. Um, I don't know who any of these ones are, but live dolls are prone to breaking and I have several broken ones already. So I figured um, if nothing else, their bodies, <laughs> their bodies could be useful. <laughs> you know, like I could use, I could rebody uh, using, I don't want to say the phrase using their bodies, but you, you know what I mean? things doll collectors say. Um, I believe this is Alexis, but she has like um, hazel eyes, which is quite interesting. I really like this Alexis's makeup, actually. I think she looks really cute. Uh, a good find. She's so cute. <laughs> and then I bought that bag for, um, well, I bought these two bags both because they both had Alexis dolls in them. And I only have like two or three Alexis dolls so far. So I figured I'd grab them. Um, and then this is a Katie doll. I don't know which one off the top of my head. Man, I didn't realize they had such, um, they had receding hairlines like that. Like I thought they were a little bit further down. Maybe this was a specific line that had a different shape of wig. I don't know. Man, y'all have like different looking face molds and everything. Interesting. So just a Katie of some sort. This is probably the original Katie if I had to guess, um, just from her like overall look, the lip color especially. Um, and then this is Daniela. Oh, I have this one. She had, I mean, I think I do anyway. Um, I'm not good with differentiating live dolls specifically unless I'm like really, really looking at pictures of them. I think this is the, I think it was the dance line or something. She came with a white dress with gold accents. I'm pretty sure that's what this Daniela is. Um, yeah, oh, good find. I like Daniela. Well, I like them all. I just like Liv. I think Liv is such a cool line. Really massively slept on in general, but I guess people don't like the look of them in general. Um, and then... We have another Alexis. Did Alexis just have hazel eyes and I didn't realize it? Man, their faces are so distinctly different. They have like different eyebrow shapes and the different lip color really makes a difference. I prefer this one, I think. Um, the skin tones are, oh no, they're the same. I think, are they? The skin tone might be slightly different. Interesting. I'm pretty sure Liv only ever did the main characters and the boys. Um, yeah. All right, so now for this was weird. So they actually had a Bratz doll. They had a Sasha. I don't know who she was, but you could see her in the footage. And they had some Monster High dolls, but they were $13 for a Bratz doll with none of her stuff. And then $25 each for the Monster High dolls. It was ridiculous because Avia and Sirena, or was it Sirena? I think it was. I don't 100% recall right now, but um, they, did, they didn't really have their stuff. Like, why would I, why would I spend that much? Anyway, there were brat shoes that were two dollars, so I grabbed them because I might have a use for them. I don't know. If I see brat shoes, I'm gonna grab them no matter what. Nothing can stop me. I don't. Act, I don't know what dolls those go to. Like off the top of my head, those are not distinct enough. And then the last thing, I. I mean, <laughs> listen. So this Lottie Dot doll was collateral, but. I love La Dida. This is one of the Juicy, was it called Juicy Crush or something? Dolls. Um, this is 
like citrus something. I don't think it's D. Is this cyan? I don't remember. I don't, I don't 100% recall what that one. Um, anyway, I bought it for this Cassie doll because I'm pretty sure this is from um, Star Darlings. I love Star Darlings. One of the most like um, facially beautiful doll lines, I think. They're so, so gorgeous. Um, and I love them. Oh, how cute. She has both of her hands, but they're on the wrong wrist. Like the kid put them back on wrong or the parent or whoever did it. How cute is that? Let's put them back. Um, so they did have removable hands. This was such a, I can't, I really wish that these had done better in stores because we never got the full lineup. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the Cassie that I don't have. This is the, or there's a like regular outfit Cassie, which I do have. And then there's like the Wish World. No, wait. Is Wish World Starland? Okay, so Wish World is Earth. So I think I have the Wish World one. And then there's a Starland one, which is their place. I don't... Mine's pink dress. I'm blanking. But anyway, I have a Cassie doll, but this one looks slightly different. And even if it is the same one that I have, I wanted her. So I got her. Anyway, <laughs> and you, you very rarely see Star Darling stuff um, in stores, so it's always a treat when you do. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you found anything interesting thrifting lately. I didn't really get to go on a full thrift trip at all. Like, these were just three random stops over the course of a week. But I'm very happy with all of my finds, especially the live stuff. I really want to beef up my live collection as um, time passes on more. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching for all this time. Bye! I forgot to show this in the video before I left, but I ended up having enough videos to film while we were gone anyway. But I bought the show stable at that store as well. And the reason I bought it, let me, because I already have two of this playset and I have it in box. Um, well, I have the box. I don't have it uh, sealed in box. Oop, the trophy just fell out. So I needed this bed. Like I don't, I can't get it all the way out, but I don't have this. So that's why I grabbed it. And I'm pretty sure mine doesn't have the sticker, but I'll check. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my third show stable.